Hey guys, Hunter Elliott, RangeOut.com. I'm with the CZ Dad Wesson guys, my friend Zach Hine, and we're talking about a couple new Dan Wesson pistols coming out. That's ugly. So anyway, <laughs> he's so good to me. He's so good. To me. We're gonna start in order that I've laid them out. In, a, in a inverted, inverted. So this is a pistol that I just got in the review, the Dan West Specialist. However, you'll notice this is a compact version where mine was a full size, but same, same. And so then we, in the world of 1911s, we call that a commander. Is it four and a quarter? It is. Then it is a commander, uh, trademark. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and so we got some cool stuff, some new stuff. Zach, if you don't mind, can we kind of go through these four yeah. pistols and uh, just talk about them and Absolutely. let me know what's what? Absolutely. So uh, we'll start there. So he just was he just got this uh, specialist in. Um, so a lot of the Dan Wesson line, it hasn't changed tremendously. Uh, so we've had some of the same models for quite a while, but we did do quite a few updates this year. Um, some little things, it might be a grip change. It might be like on this Valor where it gets a mag well. Um, one of the big things, it's, it's, you know, it's not a big thing, but it is a nice thing. Uh, we got rid of the raised rib and went to a recessed rib. I like ergonomically, <laughs> aesthetically, <laughs> I like it mo better. Oh, it's, it's, it, it looks a lot better. Agreed. Uh, yeah, no. Um, one of the really cool guns, so we're, we're starting out, we've started our heirloom series. So this is the 2020 version of the heirloom series. Um, so I'm just... It's, it's hard to make a gun any nicer than what we do on the Dan Wessons. Okay. I mean, they are, they are a very fine, I mean, they've got a lot of hand fitting, a lot of, a lot of hand polishing, but you could embellish it. Agree. Okay. So, uh, a lot of engraving on the slide, you've got color case on the, on the frame. Uh, the grips are uh, French, uh, French walnut. I, I say grips, and, it, and it makes me- Are you trying me, to say stocks? Because I'm wondering. It makes wondering. me warm inside, because I know that Hunter just cringes when I say grips. Uh, <laughs> And those grip screws, much oh to uh, much to hit. I mean, he, he, he's very happy that we used uh, some some slotted grip screws on that. Stock screws. <laughs> he's killing. Uh, anyway, uh, moving on up. This one, it, it probably burns him to even touch it because I'm coming around. Uh, I'm trying. Okay. Open-mindedness. Okay. So this is a combination of a 1911 and a, and a CC. So you end up with the trigger system of a, of a series semi 1911. You have a grip and the grip panels and the magazines of a CZ. So this is 19 plus one and nine millimeter. It uses a, a barrel that's very similar to a P10 or a P09. Um, it's basically just a, a big melding of CZ and Dan Wesson. So we do four different versions. We do two in that full size. We do 40 or, or a nine. Uh, we also do an aluminum frame compact, which is there. Uh, we do one with the rail, one without. Both of them are in nine. Uh, and that one uses a 75 compact mag, so it's a 15 plus one, but it's also a little bit nicer in the hand. So, all sorts of little changes on the Dan Wesson. Now, I see that the Valor then reintroduced. Is it that has. correct? Yeah, it was out of, out of the line for a year or two, and it's got a lot of little updates. So, that top rib. Um, same with the specials. Same with the specials. A lot of all those ribs that we had have gone to this. Um, different grips. These are some grips that we used on the ECP and TCP, and they just we've gotten a lot of positive response for those. Um, Stanchen Magwell. Uh, got a different. We got a recessed slide stop. Just a lot of little things. Ambi safety. Just updates that kind of reflected what customers wanted to do through our custom side because we do some we do some customization. So so yeah. Um, all sorts of different stuff in the Dan Wesson line, getting updates uh, for 2020. Well, that's good news. Zach turned me on to Dan Wesson about five years ago. Yeah, right. And I've done a lot of reviews, got a lot of pistols, have grown my personal Dan Wesson collection by leaps and bounds, though I'm a little broke. So if y'all want to send money, send money. If you don't, that's fine too. Anyway, Zach's a busy man, so I'm going to wrap it up. Look, brother, you know I love you like this blood can. I appreciate all your help. Dude, thanks for coming over. Yeah, man.